relax before we hop on our next flight. So yeah. After a long fucking day, we just made it to the hotel. The current time is 1.40 a.m. local time. We're gonna get cleaned up, sleep, rest up, so we're gonna have enough energy for tomorrow when we attend our first day at Canton Fair. I hope you guys are all excited as how we are to see if we're gonna be able to find any winning products at Canton Fair. All right guys, so we're currently at this tech shop in Guangzhou, and we're trying to source some products that kind of catches our attention that we could sell to the US market. That's the whole point of this trip. Other than Canton Fair, we just want to go around and to see what kind of local products that is widely available in China that we don't commonly see in the US market. We'll see what we can find. So this store actually sells an eye massager. Maybe something that we can maybe source out. We're gonna to try to ask the MOQ and the pricings for this product. Is this the eye massager? Yes, yeah, eye massager. What's the MOQ for this product? Uh, one cut on 20 pieces. One card and 20 pieces, 20 yes. pieces MOQ. Yes. And what's the factory price? Price is 128 RMB, so that's around $25, $25 Canadian, around 20 USD. Okay. And what's the MOQ for the custom logo on it? 500 pieces. So 500 MOQ. Yes. Okay. okay. If package you need uh, 1,000. 1,000 for custom yes. packaging. So this one is a scalp massager? Yes, for the hair. The hair. Pretty fire. Okay, and what's the, oh, there's heat feature as well in here? Just uh, the light. The light, oh, the red light therapy on yes. this. here can change the level. Mm, okay, level so different modes, uh, I see, yes. okay. It's like 20 USD. Okay, and yeah, what's yeah. the uh, custom logo MOQ? Uh, set. Set, same as 500 MOQ. Yes. Okay, do you have a business card? Have. What's your business card? Let me see your business card. Bless you, okay, cool. We're gonna actually talk to our team and we're gonna get back to you. Thank you. We're gonna get back to you, thank you. Ni hao. What's, what's the MOQ? Oh shit. What's the, what's the price? Price for one? Wholesale price. Wholesale price, yes. 270 RMB. Minimum order? Yeah, minimum order. Oh, five minimum order. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about custom logo here? We can put our yeah, logo. Yeah, printing uh, any one logo. And that's free with five MOQ? Yeah. Oh, five mm -hmm. MOQ with $40? That's not bad. We can't, we can't tell which market, but this is definitely a winning product. Okay, do you have um, WhatsApp? Yeah. What, do you have a business card? Yo, we can definitely sell this to the industry market for sure. Oh, oh my god. Alright, cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This, guys, this was Isaac's first, first dropshipping product. <laughs> it was a humidifier where a little astronaut, if you pop this open, <laughs> a little astronaut comes out. <laughs> when I first bought this, I thought it was a winning product. You can't sell this type of product because this does not solve any desire in the market. It just looks cool. Just visually appealing, which can maybe sell on TikTok, but I would not advise any of you guys to sell anything that just looks visually appealing, but try to find a product that actually solves the desire in the market. We actually went around for maybe like an hour, but we couldn't find anything too crazy. 
So we're actually gonna go back to our hotel, grab some food, and go to Canton Fair. So. So before we head to the Canton Fair, we stop by a Korean market to get some snacks and some food. Guys, we're Korean. We need some Korean food even though we're in China, so we're gonna get some ramen. What the fuck is that, bro? So we rested up a little bit at the hotel and we're currently on our way to Canton Fair Phase 3. We're hoping to find some cool products that we can get direct contact to the factory, which is the main purpose behind this trip. Today is a pretty busy day. Hopefully we can reschedule the factory visit maybe till next week. We actually have a dinner plan that was set up with a few of our econ boys. So yeah, we'll see you guys at Canton Fair. Peace. And the price per piece? Uh, 16. 16. And do you guys have custom logos for 1000 MOQ? Uh, Our logo for 1000 MOQ? 1000. 1000. Yeah. And is this the latest model you guys have? Uh, this is the newest one. This is the newest one. Small model. Small model, I see. What's the most um, best selling, most effective? Because this one's the best seller. Yeah. Last year we have sold over 100,000. 100,000. To the US market? Yes. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It has heated, right? Yes. Heated? Because the only issue is some customers, like this doesn't fit on their necks. Ah. So this might be too small for some customers. Uh, from Canada. Yeah. From Canada. Do you have a bigger one? Uh, how about it? Bigger. It's a lot stronger. A lot stronger. Yeah. And this is these are all 1,000 MOQ? Yes, 1,000 MOQ. 1,000 MOQ. Can I get your business card? Do you have WhatsApp on this? Yes. Here is uh, WeChat. Oh, WeChat. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. We're yeah. going to get in contact yeah. with you. Your name card? I don't have a name card. I'll get in contact with you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> see, yeah, Loki, yo, if I'm starting a brand, we have to start with the big brand. Oh, yeah. That's why like, we have to go see the big one. Is it high smile or oh, glory smile? Add high smiles if you know, you know. Bro, they, they keep the same name to B34. Everyone's a factory, that's the best part. No one's, a, no one's B2C. They're all factory, they make their shit though. Canton Fair is sick. Alright guys, so we just left the Canton Fair. A lot of people today. We were able to talk to many suppliers and source some interesting products. So we're very excited to launch those in maybe next Q3, Q4. We're currently waiting for our boy John. He also does e-com. We're gonna link with a few of the other e-com guys and have some dinner. Just chill, network a little bit. But yeah, today was wild. Busy day. We'll see how many people we can meet at the 
networking dinner event I, because I think 20 people are coming around the world. So yeah, we're very excited to meet a lot of people. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Canada, name's Isaac. Canada. I was born in Thornhill, yeah. So where are you from? I'm from, I was born yeah. in Thornhill. Yeah, and you're Toronto. from Toronto. And then I moved to Montreal, grew up there, and then to Miami. Oh, what the? He's yeah. Isaac yeah. too. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's good. Alright guys, so we actually pulled up to Guangzhou to meet some of our key commerce guys and for the dinner. And my guy right here, he pulled up to Guangzhou. What did you come up here for? Uh, to meet you. So I really do appreciate you pulling up, man. Actually, you're gonna kill it, bro. 16 year old kid doing e commerce right now. Guy lives in Mongol, right? From Mongol. Mongolia. Introduce yourself, audience. Hey guys, um, my name is Okwe. I'm 15 years old. Came from Mongolia. Yeah. Uh, recently, recently started e commerce. He actually found our hotel and he actually came to Guangzhou to visit me and Isaac. So let them know how you found your hotel. I posted a story that showed the window, window. <laughs> so I scanned that picture of so, you, uh, so, so I basically posted a story on my Instagram and I think he scanned my the outside of my hotel and he was able to find our hotel through that. I rate the hustle, man. <laughs> he actually stayed in the same hotel as us and he came to Guangzhou all the way from Mongol to visit us, which is crazy. It's crazy. We're gonna get some uh, some drinks at the Sky Bar over here. Yes, sir. Oh, holy Adobe. shit. Adobe. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. Can we go there? Right here. Oh, yeah. And have a great time, baby. Going. This was a quick day in the life of a seven-figure e-com brand owner in China and I really appreciate every single one of you guys that stick till the end. And special shout out to Mike if you're watching this video. It was truly an experience to meet you, bro. It was amazing. I'm so surprised that you actually pulled up all the way to Guangzhou to meet me and my brother. The fact that you're 15 and taking the risk to meet people in a different country still amazes me, man. With that risk tolerance, you're definitely gonna go far. So I hope you keep on grinding. And moving forward, when I'm back in Canada, I'm gonna be trying some new unique vlogging styles. So I hope you guys are all excited for that. For the road to $1 million monthly profit by the end of this year, I'm gonna be documenting everything. Again, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have a good day. This was Paul.